Hello everyone, welcome back. We're down the craft aisle and they have lots of wooden signs and popsicle sticks and these really neat wooden DIY signs. Lots of paintable ones. Butterfly, unicorn. This one had a little light in it, but it wasn't working, so it might have had a removable tab. This is a stretched canvas with a pattern on it that you can paint in. This is a really cute save the date magnetic sign. Lots of chalkboards and these are photo frames. They had quite a few of these cross stitch kits. There's one of the world and a dinosaur and some monogram ones. This was a fun 3D dinosaur puzzle down the toy aisle and we came across these cute dolls. At first I thought they were mermaids because of their dresses. They have lots of toy cars and toy trucks. They even have this Hot Wheels track They have some wall crawlers, so you stick them to your wall and they gradually crawl down. They had lots of masks and figurines out, some basketball hoops, toy guitars, and some skipping ropes. This is called Wave of Bubbles, so I'm not sure if you pour bubble solution on it or if there's a way to put it inside and then the bubbles will come out through the holes. These little figurines would be cute as cake toppers. A couple of those big dice. There weren't many blocks left, so maybe they're a popular item. They have so many activity books. These ones are paint with water, so that's really interesting. They have sticker books and some coloring books. They have some DIY sun catchers. So many of these items would be great to include in a loot bag for a party or an Easter basket. They had a bunch of these puzzles in boxes and some keepsake boxes with Dory and some more puzzles. Sliceable food sets. I believe they're Velcro on either side of the food item and then you can use the fake knife to cut. These were awesome. A dentist kit and two types of doctor kits. Such a great find. They have some actual mermaid dolls. and some doll clothing and a storage container for those blocks that we saw. These are some cute butterfly stickers and a baby shark melty bead kit and a spongebob one. You place them down in the pattern and then use an iron to melt them together. They have a few different craft sets. This is a pom-pom kit to make a cat and some foam craft kits as well. A couple more activity kits, Toy Story and Trolls, 
And this is the doll bath playset. They have a PJ mask fun kit with some stickers and a sticker album. And they have the tie-dye dye. They have lots of vinyl, many colors and different patterns. I don't know why it's down this aisle. I was a bit surprised to see them here, but maybe they ran out of room in the craft aisle. Into the teacher section, there's lots of flashcards and stickers. They also have some pointers for the chalkboard, whiteboard, and this word swatter. They also have some fun borders for bulletin boards and many different signs, some cute magazine holders and these caddies and a few of these pencil holder tins. These were prayer cards that were just at the end there. They had some with flowers and some with lemons. This crayon box is a neat idea, especially if the cardboard box falls apart. They had some fun notebooks, shine bright, a rainbow pattern, girl power, and then some sparkly spiral notebooks. These were neat. They are magnetic containers. It'd be really cool if you had a craft room with a magnetic board, or even on your fridge, you could put some items on that. And here are those tie-dye accessories. They had a lot of paint and even this fabric paint, which was really cool. And that's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and leave a comment below and subscribe for more. We'll see you next time.